Hey everyone, this is Mary with True Digital, and for this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit and add the weather template to your live playlist, as well as going over some available features within this template. I'll also go over the steps that you'll take if you want to add the weather template to multiple players at the same time using Slipstream. So I'm gonna get started here on my dashboard page and click on Manage Playlist on this left-hand side. And here I can see all of the playlists that I manage. Today, I'm just gonna be working with my playlist number one. So I'm going to click on Edit Playlist next to that one. And now on this screen, I can see my templates that I've already installed. And I don't currently have a weather template installed, so I need to get one of those installed now so we can edit it. And to do that, I will click on this template library here and to save some time, I'm just gonna type weather here in the top left. And you'll see here, there are quite a few options that you can choose from for the weather template. And if you do wanna go through and see which one you want to install, you can just click and select preview and that'll bring it up. For this one, I'm just gonna install this integration weather for the three day forecast. And I'll click on that and select install. Now once that template does install, you'll be brought back to your My Templates. And here is where we can start the editing process by clicking on the template and select Edit. And we can see the weather is currently set to Salt Lake City, so we need to change that to make sure that it's customized to our player. And we'll click on Edit Template again in the top left. Now before we change the location, you are able to change the background or the font if you want to for this template by clicking on this gray block here at the top. And you'll notice you can change the font here as well as that background fill color or any of our preset images. Or if you have an image that you want to upload, you're able to do that here as well. For now, I'll just make a small adjustment with that fill color just to make sure that it does change. And now I can see that background color did change for me. So I am going to adjust my location's weather by clicking on this smaller gray block here on this left side. And now here you'll notice that you can either select to use the device's zip code or you can type in that city name here, as well as changing that temperature scale or the language that you want that weather to be displayed in. For now, I'll just leave it how that is, but I am going to change the city since my player is in San Diego, so I want it to make sure that it's showing that weather. And now that I can see that my changes have gone through in this preview, I am gonna go ahead and hover over Save Changes here in the top left, and then click on this small Save Changes here. And here you'll be brought back to another preview which you can make those last confirmations to make sure your changes did go through. And now I know that mine did, so I will go ahead and click on back in the top left. And now before I add it to my live playlist, if you are one who has to manage several templates or several locations, it can help to definitely rename that. So I'm just gonna rename this one since I know it's my San Diego weather. I'm just gonna name it that so I can keep track once my template looks good and ready to use I'm going to add it to my live playlist by clicking on edit here on the left under live playlist and now I can just click and drag that San Diego weather over and just be sure to save and now my weather template is in my live playlist, so I'll just give my player 10 to 15 minutes for it to download that new content, and it'll start to display shortly. For more information on our True Digital offering or for a complete demo of our platform, contact our team at truedigital.com or 801-609-3465. Thanks so much for watching.